In less than three years, I'll be 50 years old. And I'm very grateful that I'm not on the job market trying to find a fulfilling and a financially rewarding job as I know I would be struggling like many of you out there. As women over 40, finding a job that we're passionate about, a job that offers some amount of flexibility, and a job that's also financially rewarding, it can be as challenging as pulling teeth especially when money is tight and you're struggling to make ends meet. That being the case, however, there are many opportunities out there that cater to the unique skills and experiences of older, or should I say, more mature women like us. And in this video, I'm gonna share 10 jobs or side hustles along with the potential earnings and also the platform where you can apply and how you can get started with your application process. Most of these 10 jobs or side hustles can be done on a part-time or on the side basis. And of course, they can all be done from the comforts of your home. And here's the best part. There there's something here for everyone to make money in these difficult economic times when money is in short supply and that's of course to take care of your needs or even the needs of your family. So if you're a woman over 40, this video is specifically for you. But frankly speaking, regardless of your age or your gender, you'll find value in this video. It's great to have you back. I really appreciate the fact that you keep pressing play when my videos pop up. I do not take it for granted, but we have a lot to talk about. So let's jump into this video. Now this first job that I believe is ideal for women over 40 to make some extra money working from home, you may actually turn your nose up at this job because sometimes we think that we're better than certain things, but there's absolutely absolutely nothing wrong with honest work. And before I tell you what the job is, let me give you some facts. There is a company out there called Laundry Heap who use this model that I'm going to share with you to launch a successful business. They have 127 employees. They have been featured in Forbes and in the Financial Times, as you can see here on screen. And they have won the National Business Award in the UK. They operate in 12 countries and in 2020 they had a valuation of 22 million dollars and this particular service that they were offering is laundry service and some of you are still turning your nose up Odetta you expect me to do people's laundry you know what it's a choice the great thing about this video is I'm gonna give you many more options in the event you think you are better than doing people's laundry and I'm not gonna judge you for that because this is not the place for judgment but if you are interested, let me tell you how this will work. With this job or side hustle, you'll actually be offering laundry services to individual and businesses. And you can start with a washer and a dryer at home or in the event you don't want to mix strangers laundry with your family's laundry, you can actually do this in a laundromat. Now you can either launch this business on your own and I'm gonna show you how to create marketing material to launch your business in this video and where to share it but you can also leverage websites like Poplin freelancers and sign up and provide wash and fold laundry services with Poplin you'll be able to make about one to two dollars per load and as you can see here on their website laundry pros are earning about six thousand US dollars per month working from home on a flexible schedule to get started you just need to visit their website and select be a laundry pro and I'm gonna put all these links on patreon as usual and I'll also pop them on the community page for YouTube members but if you're not subscribed to either just take a note of the name and you can do a quick Google search or when I pop up the pages here on screen you can also take a note of what's on screen and find the pages to follow through with the process now as I was saying earlier if you wanted to not leverage a company like Poplin for providing laundry services 
services and you wanted to launch it on your own, you can actually offer laundry services within your community. Just go to Canva and search for laundry services flyer and you're going to see a number of options here that are nicely designed for you to pick from. Just select one from the many designs and get it edited very easily as I'm doing here and then you post it on social media to promote your laundry service business. You can also use local advertising or you can give it to someone and ask them to distribute printable flyers or share the news via word of mouth. You can also post your laundry flyer on community bulletin boards or you can pay to advertise your services if it's worth it in terms of what you're making versus what you're spending. You can also sign up to platforms like Handy where customers can hire your service online using the app or even on taskrabbit.com to get customers online. By launching your own laundry business, you should be earning anywhere from $15 to $35 per hour. And obviously this is contingent on how much work you put in and of course the number of loads that you handle or the number of loads that you fold and all that good stuff. Now the next job or side hustle on our list that's I ideal for women over 40. As a matter of fact, it's ideal for many women at different ages and even a few men. But you know what our focus is today. It's the job of a virtual assistant. And in this capacity, you're going to provide administrative support to businesses, entrepreneurs, or busy individuals. And you're going to do so remotely from your home or even your office if you have one. Your tasks will include managing emails, sharing scheduling appointments, making travel arrangements, handling social media accounts, and performing other clerical duties. And some of the key skills, you may need to be organized, you may need to be a good communicator. Actually, you will need to have good communication skills and also be proficient at computer applications. I believe that as women over 40, your maturity as a middle-aged woman will make you more experienced and a great candidate for this particular job. The pay is anywhere from $15 to $50 per hour. The more experience you have, of course, the more you can potentially earn. There are actually virtual assistants out there that's claiming that they're earning $300 per hour because they are providing services to a specific high demand niche or they're providing services to high value clients. To look for virtual assistant jobs, you can visit job boards like Indeed, Glassdoor, and remote work sites like FlexJob and WeWork Remotely. And you'll see many opportunities to choose from. If you don't want to work for anyone as a virtual assistant, you can actually create a profile on a platform like Upwork or Freelancer or even Fiverr and set your rate and then assuming that you have a good profile you should be getting a few clicks of persons who are looking for your service as a virtual assistant and are willing to pay for said service. There are also virtual assistant agencies out there that are always hiring. The first one is Belay Solutions and they pay anywhere from $18 to $21 for you to work as a VA and VA of course is virtual assistant working from home. Just visit their website, click on jobs from the menu of their website and start your application process. There's also Zertual and on the home page of their website, just scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see can I apply for VA jobs with Zertual and just click that to get started. And again, remember I'm going to put all the clickable links on Patreon as well as on YouTube for members. And there's also timeetc.com which you can click company from the menu bar and you'll see work for us pop up and you can get started. Now next on the list is for you to rent a room in your house or rooms in your house or rooms in your mother's house or your father's house that they're not using. And I've seen this one at work and making good money for persons that I coach. And most of them are renting their rooms 
to nurses or to students or professionals. And some of them are doing this on a short term basis and they're renting it on platforms like Airbnb where you can actually rent a room or VRBO, I don't know if there's a way to say that, but that's another platform where you can rent the extra rooms in your home or family member's home. And there's also booking.com. If you're renting rooms in other people's house, just remember you're gonna need their permission to do so. You will be able to make from these three platforms that I just mentioned, anywhere from 50 to $300 per night renting your room. And obviously it depends on the location of your home or the home where you're renting the rooms and also the design how it's laid out how nice it is what you have to offer one of my clients that I coach as an example they have a four bedroom house and their kids are all gone off to college or their adult kids who have moved out and they're living on their own they also converted a basement that wasn't in use into a studio apartment and from the extra rooms obviously they live in one room it's her and her husband but from the extra spaces in their home they're making anywhere from six thousand five hundred dollars on a low month to as much as nine thousand dollars on a high month and they use short-term and long-term rental to be able to make this money her tenants are predominantly students and professionals and here's the best part she says she hardly sees them because when she's at home in the day up and about they're usually at work or at school she gets out of the kitchen and everything so by the time they come out if they need to use anything in the general area which is not very often she's already out of the way so she has very little or no interaction with them at all now to rent travel nurses or students your spare rooms that are in your home I'm gonna pop up here on screen a list of the different places or options that you can explore to do this from the list here the popular furnished finder is one of them and this one is ideal for for travel nurses and healthcare professionals who are seeking furnished short-term housing. There's also rooster and travel nurse housing. Just get a screenshot and you can do the research in your own time. Again, if you're on Patreon or if you're a YouTube member, I'm gonna pop up the links there so you can easily click them and get to where you need to go. Now, the next job that you can do part-time or side hustle, it depends on how you perceive it, that's ideal for women over 40, is that of an online tutor. Online tutors provide educational support and instructions to students and you're doing it from the comforts of your home and obviously over the internet. You will be able to earn anywhere from $15 to $50 on an hourly basis and I'm gonna share platforms where you can apply from anywhere across the globe in this list. There may be one or two that have geographic limitations, but the vast majority will work from anywhere. So as I'm popping up here on screen, there's preply.com. And again, this is global and it's for teaching languages or school subjects or even hobbies or art. So if you're good at knitting, as an example, this is a lesson you can offer on a platform like preply.com and actually get paid to do so. And as you can see from the list, there's several options that you can choose from. And there's a little notation of what each option focuses on so that you'll know exactly where to apply and what to apply for. And again, you know where you can find the clickable links. And I'm gonna put a link in the description of this video that will take you to the clickable links on Patreon. So you're not having to visit my Patreon and trying to figure out where to find these links. So just go down below and you'll get to Patreon from there. Now, while many of these online teaching jobs don't require any experience experience, any qualifications, or even certification, there's some that do. And the TEFL or the TESOL certificate is one that's highly recommended for persons who are looking to teach English as a foreign language online. One reputable organization where you can actually get certified is the International TEFL Academy. And I'll also pop the link onto Patreon for that as well. Now the next job on the list that's ideal, in my opinion at least, for women who are a little bit more mature, over 40, is that of 
hospice care representatives or persons offering hospice care. Hospice care professionals, they actually provide care and support to terminally ill patients and also their families. And you do not need to be a medical professional to get a job as a hospice care provider. You can actually provide hospice care in a variety of settings, which include the patient's home, hospice centers, hospitals, and nursing homes. So this may not be one of them where you can do from your home, but I also know of hospice care services that allows you to take the patients into your home. Now, obviously, the pay that you're gonna make is gonna depend on your qualification, your experience, and also your your location but on average hospice care professionals can earn anywhere from 20 to 50 dollars per hour there's also some specialized roles like a hospice care consultant or a nurse practitioner that can come with a much higher salary that could average about a hundred and of course this is all US dollars but a hundred dollars per hour now to get started you can visit job boards like indeed Monster, LinkedIn, and identify hospice roles that you are interested in and start the application process. But also, you can apply to websites that focus specifically on finding good hospice care professionals for different families or different patients. And again, I'm gonna pop up them on screen here so you can do a quick screen capture. And they include options like Vitas Health, where they offer a range of hospice care roles and comprehensive benefits. There's also Haven, and there's also Residential Healthcare Group, as I'm showing you here. Here on screen. Now, as a woman over 40, I suspect you can manage your schedule and as such, you're not constantly on the road. So you can explore this option, which is to rent out your vehicle. And of course, this is to sublet it or give it to a company who is gonna rent it on your behalf. This is another one that several persons that I coach, they are leveraging it. There's one person in the US who's making about $300 per week and one in the UK making about $250 per week. Now vehicle owners basically rent out their personal vehicles on a short-term basis for short-term use. This can be done through various car sharing platforms or rental services platforms and owners can list the vehicles. You can set your schedule so if you want to use a vehicle at a particular time you don't have to worry about that and you'll also determine your rental rates and of course you're going to be guided by what that particular website what their rates are and making sure that yours is in alignment the rental company will provide the insurance for your vehicle which is very important and you'll get paid anywhere from 30 to 100 dollars per day on average now there are some high-end specialty vehicles that can command higher rates like 300 dollars per hour if it's a luxury or a unique vehicle if you do happen to have one. Now obviously your income is going to be contingent on the frequency of the rental and where you're located and here on this list that I'm showing on screen are several options that you can rent out your vehicle with or on in terms of the platform and you'll see that I've included options across the globe. Next on the list is pet sitting or dog walking. And for a woman over 40, I think you can use the time when you're doing this to do introspection, especially if you're walking a dog, to think about what your life is, what your goals are, or to even listen an audio book and educate yourself. Just be conscious of your surroundings when you're doing so. Pet sitters and dog walkers provide care for pets while their owners are either a way or they're busy. This includes feeding, walking, playing with the pet and sometimes administering medication depending on the pet. Pet sitters may also offer additional services like overnight care 
and pet transportation, which will actually make you more money. As a dog walker or a pet sitter, you'll earn anywhere from $15 to $50 per hour. But there are some experienced dog walkers out there or pet sitters who claim that they make $300 per hour, especially when they do overnight stays or take care of multiple pets. So it's definitely possible to apply as always, I'm gonna pop up the list here on screen with all the options, and there are quite a few here, to include Rover.com, which is very popular for offering these services. And you can get opportunities there as a woman over 40 to do this job, which will give you exercise as well if you're walking the dog or time to do other things. So for me, it's very rewarding. Next on the list is the job of a bookkeeper. And bookkeepers are responsible for maintaining financial records and this is of course for businesses or individuals their typical duties include recording transactions managing accounts payables and receivables reconciling bank statements and preparing financial reports and on average bookkeepers make anywhere from 15 to as much as $75 per hour. However, if you are an experienced bookkeeper and you're gonna freelance, you can even have a rate that goes up to $300 per hour. Now to become a bookkeeper, typically you need a high school diploma or some amount of post-secondary education accounting or experience or education in a related field. Many bookkeepers out there, they actually get certified and these certifications that I'm popping up on screen include the CB, which is the Certified Bookkeeper, and this is from the American Institute of Professional Bookkeepers, or they get other certifications in certain applications like QuickBooks, which is also very popular. Here again are some companies where you can apply to be a bookkeeper including Belay Solutions and AccountingDepartment.com. Now the next job that you can do that's ideal for women over 40 and men too I must admit is to be a life coach. Being over 40 however is gonna give you life experiences that will either make you more relatable or more understanding. And this is something that I've been doing most of my adult life but I took it to a professional level starting I'd say at about age 40. As a life coach you work with clients to identify their strengths, to overcome obstacles and to develop strategies for success and at age 40 you should have learned a thing or two to help people to get past that but you can also get qualified as a life coach if you want to take it to another level. To get started figure out what you're good at from a life coach perspective, package it and market it. I offer services as you can see here on my website and also on Patreon. And the thing about it is the service is in demand, thank God for that, to the point where if you do book it, you won't be able to talk to me until a month or three months after that booking. So if you're in a rush, what I offer may not be suited for you, but there are many life coaches out there who have more availability than I do and some of them do a much better job so you have options you can get paid anywhere from 50 to 300 dollars per hour depending on your expertise the strength of your brand and of course your location now to become a life coach it's a value add if you can get trained or certified and here are some of the reputable companies that you can seek certification again just do a screenshot and you can do your research afterwards now the next option on our list and this one is something that my mother has actually done and she she was recruited from all the way in Jamaica to do it in the US because many people don't want to do this but it pays pretty well and it's actually a pretty good job because she thoroughly enjoyed it when she did it. And this is caring for special needs adults. Now caring for a special needs adults include providing support and assistance to individuals with disabilities or in some cases with chronic illnesses. The role can include 
anything from helping them to execute daily activities like bathing or dressing or eating or administering medication or coordinating with healthcare professionals. Of course, you're going to be expected to be compassionate, which is why I think maturity comes right into play here. And you'll also need to have a lot of energy if you're providing special needs services to an individual that has limited mobility and you need to help to move them around. Caregivers don't need to be medical professionals. And like I said, my mother, who is not a medical professional, does this in the US and she's recruited all the way from Jamaica. Whereas it's easy to find care for special needs kids, for adults, it's proven to be a lot more difficult, which makes it a niche because it will pay more because there are less professionals who are interested and as such the rates go up because there's more demand. On average caregivers for special needs adults can earn anywhere from 15 to as much as 85 US dollars per hour and in some instances where you have caregivers that have specialized skills or certifications you can make as much as $200 per hour especially if the care involves complex medical needs or high level professional expertise and in many countries that are developed across the globe the government actually pays the salary so your money is relatively secure from that perspective now to get qualified i'm going to put up some options here that will create for you a more competitive advantage for you to get one of these jobs and here are some platforms that you can actually find jobs on like care.com or comfortkeepers.com or even visiting angels and work in this capacity in a structured environment now rockstars each of these jobs are side hustles they offer a unique opportunity to leverage your skills and expertise and remember the key to success is finding a job that aligns with your interests and your strengths and as such you'll be able to turn your passion into your paycheck happy job hunting and until next time walk good mm -hmm.